Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another playthrough of Red Rising. Today we're going to be playing with the Apollo House. Um, and our starting cards are Arlus, Pax O Telemannus, Razor Designer, Orion, and Pelus. So, I think... lay them out like that uh, we set up as usual we're going to be taking the first turn because uh, we have Apollo um, we're going to be playing as green and the Automa as purple um, and I think that's everything for setup and we can go on then with the first turn um, and I think I'm going to deploy Orion to the Institute and that allows me to deploy one other blue from the Institute to Jupiter um, so I will deploy Invictus uh, to Jupiter, which if deployed on Mars, advance on the fleet track. Um, so we're not going to advance based on that deployment. And I'm going to actually pick up Invictus, which will allow us to advance on the fleet track. Um, and then we go on to the Automa. They deploy to Mars, gain from D, and move up one space on the fleet track. We deploy to B, gain from Jupiter, and move up one on the fleet track. So they're at two and we're at one, and that's over to us now. And I think I'm going to actually deploy Invictus immediately to Mars, which allows us to advance uh, once on the fleet track. Uh, and I'm going to pick up from the Institute and get Orion, um, which allows us to put one influence there. The Automa deploys to the Institute and takes from A. So they get Invictus uh, and a Helium. And they deploy to D and gain from C. And that's their turn, so it's back over to us. And I think here, I'm, so longer term, I, these two pair well together because I'll get 18 plus the 10 there. Plus, if I can move up on the fleet track, so that could be quite a high score. Um, this uh, Pax O Telemannus might pair well with Razor Designer. Um, we can uh, rename that as Mustang, which would get us the 20 points for Pax O Telemannus. So those three are looking pretty good. Pelus, um, this could be quite good as well. If, uh, if we can get far enough along on the fleet truck. Um, so I think I'm going to deploy Ardos, um, and I think I will deploy it to uh, probably C. Uh, no, actually, D. And I'll pick up from Mars, uh, which gets us a helium. We go on then. I deploy to Jupiter, take from A, and kiss them a helium. Deploy to A, take from Luna, uh, yeah, and banish, and then it's back over to us. And I think here I will deploy Pelus to Jupiter. Uh, we advance twice on the fleet track, so we go to four. Uh, they advance once, and I'm going to pick up from the Institute. Um, Gives us another influence. They go and deploy to D, pick up from the Institute, but they can't, so they go to Jupiter and they advance once. Uh, and then we deploy to Mars, pick up from Mars and gets them a helium. Let's square those up and it's back to us. I think I'll deploy the reporter to Mars. Uh, and pick up so we, we don't have more helium so we uh, we don't actually activate that but I'll pick up Pelus and advance once and it's back then they deploy to A, pick up from A and banish a card so we banish that and then they deploy to Luna pick up from A and that gets them another helium and it's back to us I'm actually going to deploy Pelus to Mars, which 
advances us twice on the fleet track, so we go to seven, and then they advance once. And I'm going to pick up from Luna, which gets us the Sovereign token. Um, and then we can uh, reveal and place the top card of the deck on any location, and it's Tactus. Um, and I think I'm going to place that onto D, or Jupiter, sorry. Um, and we go deploy to B, pick up from Luna, they get the Sovereign token, and one on the in Institute. And then deploy to C, gain from B, and banish a card. And it's back to us. And I think I'm going to deploy Eevee, uh, banish Eevee and all cards at this location. I'm going to banish it to Jupiter, or uh, deploy it to Jupiter, uh, and banish all of those cards. Uh, for each gold, banish place one influence on the Institute. So there's two goals there. Um, so I'll banish all of those, which gets me two influence. Uh, and I think... Hmm... I think I will pick up from, hmm, yeah, the Institute, which gets me another influence. Um, we go on then, deploy to C, pick up from D, uh, but they can't, so they pick up from, uh, we wrap around and pick up from C. Uh, and then they deploy to Jupiter, pick up from B. Uh, they gain the Sovereign token, which they already have. Uh, so they get one more influence on the Institute. And then it's over to us. And I think here I'm going to deploy to uh, Mars, which gain, I'll gain two helium. And I'll pick up from Jupiter, which moves us to eight. Uh, and we go on to the Automa. Uh, they deploy to the Institute, pick up from C, that gets them another influence. And then they deploy to A, and pick up from Mars, um, and it's back to us. And I think I'm going to deploy Quietus to the Institute, which advances us once on the fleet track. So we're at nine, I'll pick up from Mars, which gains us a helium. Um, and we go on then to the Automa. Um, so they deploy to A, pick up from Jupiter, but they can't, so we wrap around, and they pick up Quietus, uh, and then they deploy to B, pick up from the Institute, they can't, they go to Jupiter, they can't, so they pick up from Mars, and that's that, so we shuffle back up. Take the four, three, four, and we go on then to our turn. And I think we can trigger the end game here. Um, so if I deploy uh, Uncle Narol to, I think I'm going to deploy him to the Institute. Uh, again, just two helium. So we're at one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll pick up from Mars, which again is a helium. So we're at seven. We are, we're at nine on the fleet track. Um, so we were the first player, they get one more turn, and then um, we get the last turn. So the Automa goes, they deploy to D, pick up from the Institute, uh, and they get one more influence there. And then they deploy to C, pick up from Mars, and they get a Helium for that. Hmm. And so we have the last turn of the game. And I think here I'm, I'm pretty happy with my hand. So I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to just scout. Uh, so we get to scout. Whenever we scout, we can uh, reveal the top card of the deck and place it on any location and gain that location's bonus. So I'm going to place it there, which gets us uh, one more on the fleet track. So we go to 10. And the reason I did that 
was I get a, an extra point um, for Orion. Um, and yeah, I'm already, I was already at eight to 10, so I maxed out on that point. Um, so that's the end of the game. Um, they did finish with the Sovereign token, so we go on then to scoring. Um, so we're looking for uh, even. So we'll split them into odd and even first. So 10, 12, 7. Six, eight, ten, ten, sixteen, thirteen, twenty, fourteen, sixteen, ten, and thirteen. Uh, matching are even. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So we cut down to twenty. Uh, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven uh, non-matching and 13 matching. So we'll get the score sheet. So they get 99. Uh, so 70 base score. Plus 99. Um, on the free track they get 15. We are at 43. Uh, they get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So they get 15 for helium. We get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we get 21. Uh, they get 10 for the sovereign token. We get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. So they get 8. And we get 20. Uh, and we don't have more than seven cards. So their total score is... Two hundred and seventeen. Two, one, seven. So that's the target we have to beat. Uh, so if we look at our cards then, um, we get our end game scoring ability so we can treat this as having the same name as any specific character we're going to choose Mustang which uh, for Pax O Telemannus um, and yeah that's all our uh, end game abilities so we get 15 plus 20 um, for Pax O Telemannus uh, then we get 17 uh, and 13 if it, with a gold and no obsidians which it is, it's with the gold but no obsidian, so we get uh, 30 there. Um, and then we get 18 for Orion, plus uh, 10, because he's with Pax Otelemanus, um, plus uh, points equal to our position, we are at 10, so we get another 10. Um, then we get 5 for Pelis, and 35 if our feet track position is 8 to 10 which it is and then we get 9 for data port specialist plus 26 because it's with a blue uh, so we end on 178 um, so that's 178 and we get 43 for our position on the fleet track 43 um, and then we're at 21 for our Helium and 20 for our Institute, which leaves us at 262. Um, so we end up winning that um, by a little bit. Um, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's the game. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you thought. Um, I thought that went pretty well. We, I thought we got a, a very good starting hand. Uh, I think we had, we had those two in our starting hand, and I think we might have had Orion as well. But we, we definitely had another blue in our hand, and so I kind of focused on the fleet track quite a bit. Um, and yeah, just cycling Palace a couple of times. Maybe Palace is what we started with, but uh, we got to advance twice in the fleet track. Um, and I think we had one more blue. Um, so we maybe had two blues in our starting hand. Um, 
and yeah then we picked up this which was quite fortuitous given we already had a blue um so yeah that was uh an interesting game um let me know like i said in the comments if you have any thoughts um if you've got this game or if you're enjoying it um and yeah i think i'll call it a day for today uh thanks for joining and hope you can join again next time